All right, guys, welcome back. Today, I'm just gonna call this a two or three minute product demo. We're taking a look at the Intermountain 19,600 gallon tank cars and light gray and Minnesota corn processing. Uh, GATX is the second one. So, you know, there's not a whole lot to cover on these cars that hasn't been covered before, so they're just gonna be shown. I'll give you a few details and we'll move on. Thanks. If you like what you see, please subscribe to the JLWII2000 channel and leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to click the bell icon so you'll be notified of future train videos. Unboxing. Intermountain makes it easy. No paperwork to fool with here. There is a camera to fool with that doesn't like shiny plastic, but you got some parts here you can apply plastic pops right out and we'll take the other one out and look at these a little closer okay so if you look you've got FRA striping which is indicative of anything past 2006 I believe GATX and the road number on the side plus all the load limits on this side, you have MCP and a corn logo. It's pretty cool. Obviously, crew access ladder to the top hatch, along with hand rails all around. Anti-personnel bar below. It's to keep people from under. It's very thinly detailed, and you have to be very careful with it, or you can break it. Underbody detail, brake line rigging, and a little valve for offloading product. Metal couplers. On the ends, brake wheel on the ends as well. And if you look around to the other side, there's more of the same detail. There are placards holders. Uh, this one's just slightly crooked on this side. Uh, on this one, a little more straight. A little hard to see in the sea of black, but those are placard holders. You can apply placard decals yourself. Uh, walkways, there are etched walkways, so you can see through those, no problem. And more placards on the end here. So, let's go ahead and get these on the track for a second. Okay, these roll freely. The NMRA gauges show that these are in range, or in gauge. Uh, the Intermountain wheel sets are just great, so you won't have any problem with dragging or anything with these. There's no real body wobble, so they're very firm. And the weight, um, I can show you real quick next. All right, weight is around 3.5 ounces, which meets the NMRA specs for a car this length. The length is pretty short. Uh, I'll show you the length so here my, in a second. Uh, ruler's tucked back here, but body is about five and a half. Coupler to coupler is a little, it's closer to six and a half. NMRA weight standards, let's talk about that real quick. And um, so what you have is the initial uh, inch, uh, six inch car should weigh four ounces. That's one ounce minimum uh, for any car, plus half an ounce for each inch. So at three and a half ounces and this thing being a little over five inches car body, that is right on the dot. So NMRA compliance is met with both the wheel sets, which we know because Intermountain wheel sets are great, and the weight. So that's why you have no body wobble, no problems, uh, navigates curves well. These are great cars. All right, let's wrap up the video. All right, as you can tell, it's a little busy. I'm a little rushed. Uh, busy week this week, but these cars are great. Um, they meet all requirements on NMRA, both weight and wheel sets and coupler height, no problems. A lot of this was off screen here. They roll very freely, so they're not going to weigh down your train. And they are modern representations for modern day modelers. Anybody past 2006 as indicative uh, by the FRA striping, but I just wanted you guys to see these. Um, they are out there in the wild for purchase and a little behind on reviews. Um, so this one's a little late from release, but you can still find these at your brick-and-mortar hobby shops and online retailers if you want to search for them, and they're pretty decent price, too. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time right here on my channel. Take care.